This is the Bassmaster Classic, a massive fishing tournament that crowns the world champion of bass fishing, and it's a way bigger deal than you probably think it is. Total prize money, one million dollars. It's a three-day spectacle that's broadcast nationally and draws thousands of spectators for the launch and the weigh-in. 55 anglers earn the right to compete here, and it's a five fish per day limit. You can catch 100, but you can only keep and weigh five. So how do you watch the actual fishing action? Well, you can see behind me there's traffic on this highway. It was a bit of an offshoot here. So what the spectators have to do is drive around Lake Hartwell post up somewhere like this and hope that their favorite angler happens to consider this a bit of a honey hole. So we're gonna stick this out because if you ask me, this is bass country right here. And it turns out I was right. It didn't take long before the pros showed up here. You're also allowed to follow them around on the lake in your own boat, as long as you keep a respectful distance. At the end of the day, it's coordinated chaos as all the anglers have to haul out and drive 40 miles from Anderson to Greenville, where a hockey arena is packed for the weigh-in. But I met a super fan who found the best seat in the house. Actually, it wasn't even a seat. And it wasn't really in the house either. So, do you think you want to be a professional angler? Is that something you like it that much? Yes, sir. What, what's so great about fishing for you? What, what do you like it so much? The boats. The boats? And having fun. Yeah, and I dig it. Dream. Yes, buddy. I love it. Only the top five finishers the first two days get to compete on Championship Sunday, including this guy. That's Peterborough's Chris Johnston. At the moment, he's far from the top, but anything can happen if the fish cooperate. This is it, the final weigh-in championship Sunday. Only 25 anglers made this final cut, and the winner is walking home with $300,000. Before we get there, though, there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of excitement, and there's even giveaways and t-shirt tosses for the fans, for the fans in the stands. You know what that is? That's a free t-shirt. Oh, my God! <laughs> Ahead of the final weigh-in, everything seems up a notch. The crowd's buzzing, the anglers are pumped, and the bass, even they seem bigger. But with only six to go, Johnston finds himself in first place. It's a whole different world down here, to be honest, and you can, you can follow your dream and uh, make a living chasing these bass, and uh, it's really cool that I got to set an example for some of our Canadian anglers, and there's gonna be a few more of them coming down here in the next couple years, I'm sure. Four of the six that still needed to be weighed topped him, so he finished fifth. Still, a solid showing. This man, Jason Christie from Oklahoma, bested the pro from Peterborough and the rest of the pack to nab the 52nd Bassmaster Classic title and the $300,000 first prize. I managed to catch up with Johnston afterwards, just after the press conference for the top five finishers. Yes, a press conference for fishing. I'm telling you, this is huge, and it's awesome. There's a lot of tournaments, but there's only one classic. How is this compared to any other? What, is, what would the next closest even be? Is there, there is, anything? There is, there is nothing like this. I, I can promise you that. Um, yeah, just even at takeoff in the morning, there, I don't even know how many people are there, but it's packed to, to watch boats idle out and take off in the morning. It's pretty incredible. And then this arena was jammed this afternoon, and it's, it's nice to see. It's great for fishing. So what's next? Uh, I got about five days off. I'm going to go to Canada and see my boys and then uh, back to South Carolina for the next tournament. That's it. It's over. Jason Christie is $300,000 richer. I am hooked on bass fishing. And now all that's left is hit me with your confetti. Oh, yeah. <laughs>